Hello, ladies and germs. Here to continue my Why You Must Order Death Floor Center review. God damn, it's dark in here. I do not know why. Alright, um, DVD reviews tomorrow. Uh, reviews tomorrow. I shouldn't say DVD. Um, uh, Triple Mania, The Two Chikar Shows, and this. Look forward to that. I only have two WWE DVDs left, um, Starcade and Shawn Michaels. Hope to get those out of the way. But this is my part two of why you must order Death Before Dishonor 8. And uh, I'm going to keep this one shorter than the first, but I'm going to cover... Actually, I want to cover two matches here because I don't, I don't think I can make five videos. I think they'll get kind of drilled into your brains. There are two matches that I want to cover in the last part, so I'm going to cover three here. First being Austin Aries versus Delirious. Um... This has been a nice feud. You know, they had a good angle on uh, HDNet where Ares did the whole Savage Rookie Steamboat thing where he uh, he put Delirious on top of the guardrail with the help of Kenny King and he jumped from the top rope and he smashed his throat into the guardrail. Then at Supercard of Honor, they were supposed to have a match, but Ares came out like as a manager, I believe. Like he refused to fight and Delirious brawled with him and all this and that. Um, they're, they're selling their feud officially at the Ford Honor. I think this will be a very good feud. They've been building it a lot on HDNet. Um, Ares is, an, is a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous heel. I really like what they're going with this match. I, I have high expectations for it. Not like high, I don't think it will be like a four-star match or anything like that, but I think they will settle the feud. I do think Delirious will have one of his better single matches. Not that he's a bad wrestler, it's just the way he's booked. He's not really booked to the type of guy that's going to have a four-star match every night. I do think he could have a very good match with Ares if they use good psychology, they use the storyline right. They could do it, and it could be a really fun and really interesting match to watch. I'm really looking forward to see how this storyline ends. Um, also, we have Christopher Daniels versus Kenny Omega. I know I've been really harsh on Christopher Daniels, um, but I I stand by what I say. I'm ch I'm gonna change my outlook here because you know, if Christopher, da it's like it's like it kind of hit me last night when someone was talking about. I was with I was talking with GJ Mix about certain wrestlers whether they've had great matches or not, and the Kurt Angle name always popped up, and AJ Orton always told me. Kurt Angle doesn't count, because Kurt Angle's going to have a great match with anyone. And it got me thinking, you know, Davy Richards is kind of the same. Uh, Omega, in a way, could be the same. Danielson could be the same. So it got me thinking, it's not fair if Christopher Daniels is going to have a great match with Omega and Richards, and for me to completely call my story back. How about I say this? How about Christopher Daniels can only have a great match with people who are better than him? He can't ever have a good match with someone who's... Not at his level. Like someone who's clearly one of the best wrestlers in the world, Christopher Daniels, will have a great match with that person. But Christopher Daniels has a match with like, ooh, I don't know. Uh, Daniels, maybe even maybe even not necessarily better than him. Maybe just, you know, one of the best wrestlers in the world, like Omega, Richards, and Danielson are. But I do think this will be a great match. I am calling it, uh, so I'm not going to go back on my word. But if you, if you saw like the, the King of Trio shows where Christopher Daniels fought Hollow Wicked and Eddie Kingston. Both those matches were pretty lackluster. In fact, his match with Hollow Wicked, I thought, was probably the worst match of night two because I don't count that match with Brody Lee and Grizzly Redwood. That was a five-minute squash. So, yeah, that was the worst match of night two. And I do think he's, I do think he refuses to elevate his pace in the match when the wrestlers are asking him to. Now, I have not seen this match with Eddie Edwards yet. I heard that was very good to great. I will see. But, again... I guess that might that might be the clincher. People who are better than him. Right, we'll see. We'll see. But as for right now, I still stand by what I say. But I do think this will be a great match. So I'm not trying. I don't want to seem hypocritical here when I promote this match because Kenny Omega is so awesome in the ring. And you, if, it's like the Kenta Nakajima thing. I kind of view it that way with Davy and Omega. You know, like when Kenta wasn't gonna fight last year in the November shows, so they brought in Nakajima as his replacement. And Nakajima had great matches with Omega and Generico, even though. They're, Two of the best workers in the company. Actually, they could be the second and third best worker in the company right now. Now that I think about it, it's tough. Depends on how much you like Tyler Black. But in my opinion, it's Davey, Omega, Generico. I know I might be alone on that, but that's tr that. I truly think that's the top three wrestlers in the company right now. Wrestlers, as far as like position, you'd have to go Aries, Black, Roderick, or Black, Roderick, Aries, maybe Davey. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I do think that. This will be a great match. And like I was saying about the Kenta Nakajima thing, if you're not going to fight Kenta, you could fight... I mean, if you're not going to fight Davey Richards, you could fight Omega, and you could have pretty much just as good as a match as you probably would have had with Davey. Not not as good, but just as good. Like, almost. God, that hurt. Sorry, I just cut myself with a clipper. That was really random. Ah, damn, that hurt. 
<sighs> wow, no blood. That's a shocker. Anyways, uh, uh, late reaction aside, I also want to talk about Kings Wrestling Briscoes, even though, because even though this feud started back at Final Battle, uh, this is like the least built main event. By the main event, I mean this, Tenerico and Black Davy. You know, this they ha they built it all the way to the Big Bang. They had their match. It was a great match. Great, 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 great match. And then uh, they pretty much didn't mention it. They had the thing with the guns. And then the past two weeks on HDNet, maybe not even two weeks. Well, the Briscoes beat Dark City Fight Club for the number one contendership for the titles. There is blood. Never mind. And uh, and uh, Kings of Wrestling knocked out the Briscoes' father last week on HDNet. And now it's a no DQ match. That makes it interesting. Now that it's no DQ, no DQ, you're gonna see something special. I truly think you're gonna see some brutality, and you could see a great. Great, I, f I truly feel you're gonna see a great, great, great match from these guys because of the no DQ stipulation. It, may, it might even make their match better than their match last month. It'll be a different match, but it'll be a very, very good match. It is for the titles, but the Briscoes already said they don't care about the titles, they just care about knocking the Kings of Wrestling's lights out. Sorry, it does sting a little. So, I do think it'll be a great, great, great match. A truly a match to see. So, so far we have. Two great matches and three really good matches on the show so far. I this will this will be a great amazing match. Now I'm gonna have part three. I'm either gonna do part three plugging the entire Stenerico match because I have a lot to say about that match, and then do a part four on Black Davy, <sighs> or I just might do a part three on the, both matches. We'll see. But anyways, yeah. Please guys, this is why you must order that Port Honor. I officially ordered it myself after I found out I'm not gonna be on vacation this week. So yeah. Please order it, watch it, support Ring of Honor. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. This is going to be possibly the best wrestling show you see all year. Yeah. Okay, Big Red 310, I'm out guys. See ya.